What is up? We are Wrestling Maniacs out there worldwide. It's the best one, Donnie, here with my April 24th AEW Dynamite reactions. If you're not a maniac yet already, subscribe, turn on the post notifications, because the grind is real. And we got the Elite arriving in gold. I don't see Jack Perry with him, though. I'm digging the suits. Oh, shit, here we go. Now we got Jack Perry. Jungle Bitch has arrived! I feel like nobody is benefiting more from this all-in footage being out than Jack Perry. <laughs> Well, it's CM Punk, too. Ooh, security. Damn. I'm liking it. They're trying to keep Kayfabe alive. I like it. Having security try to not allow him... Into the arena. I like that. Oh man. Jack Perry coming out of TK's office. Are you reinstated in AEW? Oh, no response. Is Jack Perry reinstated in AEW? Nicholas Jackson. Is Jack Perry reinstated in AEW? Matthew Jackson, I don't need the scoop. Is Jack Perry back in AEW? I, I wish I had a better scoop for you before answers. Things right now are still moving uncertain. I will tell you this though, Alex. Tony Khan literally just agreed to meet with Jack Perry tonight live in the ring. Oh! <laughs> okay, I'm digging this. I'm digging this. Tony Khan's gonna make an appearance on Dynamite tonight with Jack Perry. And we're showing the New Japan Pro Wrestling clips. You're learning something, TK. I'm digging this. Yep, I'm digging this. They did such a good job with this. I thought the all-in footage was not a good idea, but... Mm, it's kind of benefiting the elite a lot more. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time. It's time we get to hear from Jack Perry. Let's see if he's improved on the mic within the last year. Jack Perry has future with AEW. I will say it's crazy that he's getting a lot of buzz with the IWC. His contract he seems to join the roster of New Japan Pro Wrestling. I thought his AEW days were behind him. Yeah, I thought so too. Recently we saw the young bucks, Matthew and Nicholas Jackson, put out the footage of confrontation from Wembley way back. I will say him going to New Japan, doing this whole scapegoat thing, has been brilliant and I love the fact that AEW has been showing the clips throughout the episode of Dynamite. The fans are like really behind him. This is crazy. Cry me a river song. Wow. First things first, I want to say that I've had some of the best nights of my entire life right here in Jacksonville. Harry to the elite. That's a lot of money that could be made. But tonight, we have business to handle. And I want to handle it right here, right now, face to face, with Tony Khan. <laughs> Alright, this is going to be awesome. I already know it. This is going to be awesome. Matthew Jackson is crazy, man. What this is... We never get Tony Khan on regular AEW programming like this. This is brilliant business right now. All Elite Wrestling, who's 
agreed to meet with Jack Perry. <laughs> I can't believe this. The the ring. Man, it's been a long Perry long was like one of the most hated people. I gave him the nickname Jungle Bitch. Almost five years ago was the very first Double or Nothing. And since then, AEW has gone on to change the world. He looks so much more comfortable, too, on the mic. Maybe him getting into that fight with Punk was the best thing he ever did for his career. <laughs> Not good for AEW no showing the footage. Eye, but I want to tell you this right now. From the bottom of my heart, I swear to God, the only thing that I have ever wanted is what's best for AEW. I love... Oh man, I thought he was gonna be getting like dirty dom heat when he so came I back. Ask you to please shake my hand, reinstate me, and let's go on and continue to change the world together. Tony Khan looks like a lost puppy so out there. <laughs> Let's go. Ooh, I don't like that look he's giving to the camera. I want to know what the hell is under his sleeve, though. He's got something under his sleeve. Oh! Oh! No fucking way. Oh, here comes the EVPs now. They're really trying to keep kayfabe here alive. I like it. I respect it. No way. They're gonna V-trigger him. Yep, yep, they're gonna V-trigger him. Oh yeah, it's happening. Are we writing Tony Khan off of AEW TV now, finally? Oh, hold up! Hold up! No way. No fucking way. This is not happening right now. The Meltzer Drive. I'm digging this new Elite. I'm digging this. Especially with Okada in the fold and Jack Perry now. Now we just got to give Jack Perry the TNT Championship or the AEW World title. Probably the TNT title would be best. Yeah, Jack Berry! <laughs> I'm digging it. We're getting the elite takeover. Dude, I've been saying it, like, this EVP character with Matthew and Nicholas Jackson has so much potential. And this is going to be one of the hottest angles in AEW, I think. Because you're, you're somewhat bringing a real-life situation, and you're finally turning into a storyline. They should have been having this elite takeover thing from the beginning of AEW. But I get why they didn't. They want to put over other talent at first with Young Bucks and Kenny already being established. Tony Khan broke his neck. Get the ambulance. Get the stretcher. I like Jack Perry with the Elite. I really like it. I actually really like this a lot.
Thank you for coming to the show. <laughs> Check on Tony. <laughs> that was great. That was great. Fantastic work. I love this. I can't wait to talk about this on the We Are Wrestling podcast. Oh, here comes the locker room now. And there's nothing that these guys can do. Because at the end of the day, Matthew and Nicholas is your boss. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm buying a scapegoat shirt now. I'm definitely buying one of those. Hold up, that's Tony Khan's dad. What? Hold up. Whoa, I need to rewind that just a little bit. Hold up. That, no way in hell they had Tony Khan's dad show up on TV. No fucking way. They really had Tony Khan's dad in there. Wow. I'm really paying attention now. Tony Khan's dad! Holy shit! I love the reality side of this. I love the reality side of this. Brilliant booking right here. This is what we need on AEW TV consistently every week. Because storylines... That's what draws ratings. I am, wow, I'm completely shocked with this. Jack Perry getting into that fight with CM Punk backstage might have been literally the best thing he ever did for his career. <laughs> also, him going to New Japan Pro Wrestling, probably the best thing he also did for his career. Man, wow. That was the best part of Dynamite. Holy crap. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the reactions. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. And to the Maniacs, we are taking over. Peace.